This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Hey, there he is, Omar Kelly, in our EJDConstruction.com Miami Dolphins report. Look at you, looking sharp. So you you went to the stadium today, huh? I always go to the stadium when it's home. I don't know, you know, just thinking, yeah. you know, the yeah. uh, virus thing, you know, the baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very, nah. keep very careful, so you know. <laughs> nah, dolphins don't have. We got plexiglass, and dolphins don't have anybody within twelve feet of me. So I'm, um, I feel pretty safe here. I've always felt pretty safe here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured that they would, uh, they would handle things the right way in that sense. Um, did you see the owner? Because I didn't see any camera shots of the owner. Was he there? Uh, I have no idea. I didn't look for him at the beginning of before the game. I'm assuming that he was, but uh, I, I'll ask. I didn't. I didn't look for him. I wasn't looking for him. Okay. Has he no no declarations have come out? Because I haven't seen anything from uh, you. Act like we. You act like we can go anywhere. We're we're, we're I don't know, time, boy, maybe bro. He said something, somebody's got something. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. No, nah, we're we're not, uh, bro. I, I, and I told you this for months. We we not doing nothing. There is nothing happening. Nothing. Okay. Like all these people with these Harbaugh rumors, speculation. If Harbaugh's going to coach, he's not coaching here. So like. You know, I keep thinking that Harbaugh is just wanting money out of Michigan. That's I mean, it. he he might he might look at the he might be looking at the Raiders' job as a as a good job. Right. Well, that's my part too. I think initially, remember, he had to give money back last year because he has been so terrible, and so now he wins the Big Ten and beats Ohio State. So now his agent spreads all that all that stuff out. And then that gets Michigan. Oh, okay. And they sweeten the pot and give him back his money and extend it and all that. And everybody's at, happy. At, at, the, at this point for Harbaugh, I don't think it's about money. So either he views he can't take Michigan any further. And remember, Michigan is the job that he loves, the school that he loves. I know. It's, it's, I, know. I, I know. And, and then the flip, know, side, knows. the flip side is the Raiders can pay. And they'll pay an inordinate amount of money, a stupid amount of money. Uh, but but, but I, I, again, I don't think it's about money for Harbaugh. I think it's it's just about the opportunity, and he probably wants to go someplace. It it totally depends on how you feel about Derek Carr and how you feel about Mike Mayock. And you know, oh, Mayock's what, what gone. You, Mayock's gone. If Harbaugh goes Mayock's there, gone? Mayock's, yeah, yeah, Harbaugh uh, will yeah. pick his own guy, dude. Mayox players, along with Gruden, I don't know whether it was him or not. I, I, I don't. I don't know if Harbaugh has the cash. Just got another player, or... DUI. Another one, DUI this past week. You know they're that, right? Vegas, bro. What do you expect? No, I did not know that. Well, yeah. They're Vegas. What do you expect? It's. Oh, it's, we have it's South like, Beach. What's yeah, no, 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 no. And 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 you hear league wide that you can't just put any player in Miami, and it's true. It's true. I've I've dealt and investigated it for years. Yeah, if if you got a player with who, who who's got a weakness for the women, or a weakness for the casino, or a weakness for the women, and drinking and partying, please, he's a toast over here. Yeah, yeah. No. Plus, I mean, it, some of their their players have made some. Just, I mean, ridiculous decisions, and and the Dolphins got one of them now in our net. There, by the way, uh, I uh, read uh, for a short amount of time before it destructed on your Twitter feed that you were doing a little investigating, and uh, you were finding out that uh, Vanoy was uh, kind of uh, not a flow fan, and that flow uh, mm. is. Uh, you know, you and I had this discussion. No, 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 no. Benoit was a Benoit became a pain in the ass, which Benoit is a pain in the ass. Ben, Benot is a pain in the ass. Um, he uh -huh. he's a very complicated individual. He he became a pain in the ass for Flo, primarily on the team's defense. And so, anytime something was going on that they didn't like, they sicked Benoit on him, and that. Got eventually got under Flo's skin, rubbed in. Whether it, you know, Flo talked about the things that he needs to learn and things that he needs to change and alter and adjust. And I, I, I it, it's not a mystery to him that he needs to change things about his personality. And so, but let me ask you something. 
So how come Vanoy has no problems with Belichick then? No, he does have problems with Belichick. He does have problems with Belichick right well, now. He's back, he's, he's back there now, dude. No, so no, no, no. They have, trust me, trust me. Vanoy's. I just heard about it. Vanoy's. Vanoy's rubbing a lot of people the wrong way. I'm not. Don't be surprised if he's not in New England next year. He's, well, I'm, well, I'm sure. If listen, he's back there because he's at a cheap price. But still, the bottom line is they coached him a lot longer than this guy did. You know, so it just he wasn't. Listen, he was. He, he was he wasn't very good to begin with. Was he worth twelve million dollars? Absolutely not. So it, you know, it do, do you look stupid for giving him fifteen for one year? Yes, you do. But was he worth twelve million dollars? No. Like I'm sorry, he, he's he while but, he would have helped but, this team. But our conversation but, was that it was Flo's doing, and you were and you weren't convinced of that. No, I think no. What I said, what I said, and what I continue to say. Is they work in lockstep, and Chris Greer, as you know, is going to give Flo and do what Flo generally wants to do because he feels like if his coach doesn't feel like he can coach or wants to coach a player, he's gone. And so that I mean, there's no mystery to that. Like it's a, it was the same thing for Adam Gase. It was the same thing for Joe Philbin. The same thing for. Nick Saban, same thing for I don't even know what happened before that. But if coach feels like I don't want to coach him, that this guy is is becoming um, troublesome for me in regards to my locker room leadership, uh, he's not going to be around. And 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 understand, I'm not saying that Van Noy did Van not did not do things that helped the team and benefited the team because the players were very thankful that he was their advocate towards flow and part of the issues that they had at the beginning of the season according to them was that they didn't have anybody who could go and confront flow and speak to flow and be you know be be their advocate there was nobody and that, 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 that's you know, why he that's it looks like now you just found out the root of the problem and why he eliminated as many veterans as possible and why he's kept so many young things around like coaches they, they've been they've been doing that they've been doing that since day one they've been doing that since day one they've been I get, I get on the younger player and younger side. No, no, but I get on the player side, but on the coaching coaches, side, that, he he believes in, and I've asked him about the young coaches, and he believes in, you know, somebody's got to give these coaches an opportunity, especially if they're talented coaches, and a lot of them are talented coaches, a lot a lot of them are talented coaches. Gerald Alexander is going to be a star in this league. He will be a head coach in the NFL. Um, it you know, but I, I, and I will say this. Josh Boyer, there hasn't been a defensive coordinator since I've been here who has outperformed him. Like, nobody's come close to it, um, including Todd Bowles. I have a great amount of respect for what he's been able to accomplish the last two seasons. So, you know, can, can, does Flo have a problem with his offensive staff? Absolutely. And if he doesn't realize that, he's the next one to be fired. Like he's it's it's he's got to realize that he's got he's got to have an awareness and you can't watch this offense struggle and you know he's been cutthroat every single off season so what what would make us say that he's not going to be cutthroat this off season? So then, what makes me think that he would actually get a relevant staff? What what tells? Because I have zero proof that he can build an offensive staff. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't know. You don't know who's. You don't know who's going to be unemployed next week. I mean, you don't know who's going to be unemployed tomorrow. Yeah, there might be what, six. What I, there might be six head coaches unemployed, and that's six offensive coordinators looking for work. If they're you, willing you think, to work for him, if they're willing to work. Okay, for him. and well, that's, a big, that's, that's a big problem, that, Omar. I mean, okay. Uh, well, the mo is not to go hire experienced, proven, talented coaches. He, he, he did. He hired Brian Caldwell, and he didn't stay. <laughs> he hired Brian Sam Gailey. He didn't. Yeah, I mean, uh, Jim Caldwell. Jim Caldwell. He had yeah. Jim, Jim Caldwell, and he didn't stay. He hired Jane Gailey, and he didn't stay. I, I, I don't think the problem is hiring them. I think the problem is keeping them. Well, well, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And by the way, I keep, telling you, I keep telling you, it's not his Rolodex that brought in Jane Gailey. Just so you'll know. Okay? It's not I, his I Rolodex. Don't care. Okay? He had a Chan knew he was coming to coach. Yeah. Hey, but Chan that's knew who he was coming to coach for. Coach, yeah, Chan knew he was coming to coach. 
who he, who he is coming to coach. I mean, they talked the man out of retirement. That had to be a conversation that Flo sold. So. Uh, yeah, I know, but at that point, Flo was only one year out. And nobody really knew him, and that's yeah. so it's a whole it's a whole different ball game now. Uh, I, there's three years. There's a ton of change. There seems to be a some kind of an issue with with uh, relationships in this in that coach in that in that department. There, there's there's that always gets an around, issue with that gets relationships. Around the that gets around there's, the all, there's there's always an issue with relationships with the Dolphins and coaches and even Belichick. You act like Belichick's got like people begging and banging down the door to go work for him. Like that's not that's not oh, the oh, case. Oh, oh oh that's not that that's the terrible example, dude. He goes from no. Weiss, Cromel, he goes Weiss, Cromel, McDaniels, Bill O'Brien. Guys who worked for defense. him. For it, it's, De, it's Dean Pease. It, yeah. it, it, it's, it's um, what's it called? Um, guys who uh, have worked for him for 15 plus years. But that, that doesn't matter, dude. He he does Look at Look coaches. at McDaniels. Look at McDaniels. How They're long is this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they, they never leave. They, well, that doesn't Romeo, necessarily Romeo mean. Cornell was there, dude, and left and went and got a head coaching job, but he's still really more of an assistant coach. He's more of a defensive coordinator. Charlie yeah. Weister there, and he went to get a head coaching job, dude. My point is, whatever he hires, Omar, they're good enough to be there, to be productive, no, 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 no. and to get head coaching jobs. You know, the guy okay. they played last week, Mike yeah, Rabel, 20 years of Tom coach. Brady. 20 years of Tom Brady and, and great success, and that, that that's what that does. Brian Flores has been coaching two years in the league. Every single new coach has an issue putting together staff. It's part of the reason why I hate when they hire new coaches. Like, they don't have come with accomplished coaching staffs or, or, or major credentials that allow them to get coaching well, staff. Which is usually I, smart, young, smart coaches find veteran coaches to bring on their staff so they, they can they learn do. from them and they lean do. on them. This guy doesn't and do Brian that. Flores, the Brian Flores hired one and he quit. Oh, like, you make so, it sound uh, like okay. the, that's not a problem. Uh, and, and he hired two, he hired a second one and he quit. Okay, so all right. Like we'll so see if he can hire. A a, yeah, <laughs> we'll see if he can hire a third one. I don't, I don't care. Like, bro, I don't, like, listen, I care. He, he's I care. earned I the he, he, bro, Big O. Admit, acknowledge that at nine and eight, rebounding after a one and seven start, he has er, sweeping the Patriots for the first time in twenty years, delivering the Dolphins' first back-to-back -back winning season since two thousand and three that he's earned the right to coach this team next year. Admit that. Just just uh, acknowledge that. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Why would I acknowledge that? Why, 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 would, why hasn't he? Why, why hasn't he? Because I see the obvious problems, and he only got a winning season because they added a 17th game, my brother. It's a 500 <laughs> season. Everybody else, that, you uh, can't, you can't, it can't be a record if it has an asterisk next to it. Okay, no, he doesn't have season. winning seasons back to back, back to because the, the last time they did it, they did it under 16 games. Now it's, they're it's, doing it. Is it a season? Is 2020? Is 2021 a season? Yes. Is it, yes, is it a winning it is. season? Yes. 2020 yes, was a winning season. Okay, so it's back to back winning season. Yes, like, it is. But but he needed it, it, help in order to get it. Okay, it wasn't like he got. He didn't have the same it, level playing field as the last time they had back-to-back -back winning seasons. They, they finished the Those year winning eight games. of nine games. Eight of so nine Serrano, games, and, and the game, and the game that they lost was a frozen rainstorm mm -hmm. where they just got dominated by the home team. Okay, like, not, so, you know, so I, I'm Serrano not starting. Sperano starting two and four and finishing nine and one, that justified it and that really proved it again. You know, Gay starting one and four and finishing nine and two. You know, I've been at this. This has happened before, my brother. This is nothing new. This doesn't mean that you're a good coach. This means maybe that the talent around you is pretty good. You just weren't good enough to make it better. That's I maybe what I, I, I don't think the talent around them is really good. I think this is probably one of the worst offenses I've ever seen. Uh, yep. and it it is. We'll, we'll, and for you it to is, produce a good, winning record, a good coach, but a good coach last week gives Duke Johnson the ball, okay? Because you were right I, on I this. So you, there was no situation to give Duke Johnson the ball last week. None. None, none, none in the second bro, half. You had to give him the ball more. None in the second half. None. 
and, and like there, there, we've gone through this. There was no situation to give him the ball in the second half. That you were down twenty-one points by the time you had the ball again. Like no, it, it, this so, is so it, so it, so it, you can't. You're not really a passing team, so you're going to try to make a kid a passing team when you you're don't down have twenty-one it. points, you're, right? In the in the rain in a slick surface, you're down twenty-one points, right? Yeah, you I think know. That's it would the be time to run, run the ball. ball in a, yeah, in the rain, you probably are better off running the ball, my man, not passing. Uh oh, it, you, you it, are better. And, you and are better. Seal the victory, seal the, seal the loss. You, yeah. you weren't going to win yeah, anyway. Yeah. You, you scored three points, my brother. Because you I, didn't I think, I think if you if you, you go run. if you go into that mindset that you aren't going to win or or you're not going to give yourself a chance, then you got you did lose, and that's a defeatist mentality. I don't, I I don't. I think the Dolphins have shown. Throughout this entire season, they haven't quit on a season, quit on a team. You know, this could have been a tricky game. Players could have checked out. Players could have had their bags packed. They they didn't. They didn't perform like that. And and they swept the Patriots for the first time in twenty years. And props to props to Brian Flores because nobody has been able to do that since you know nobody's been able to do that. Like who was the last coach that did it? Maybe once. Yeah, no, again, think. the last time he did it, it was sixteen game schedule. That's the only thing. It, that it doesn't I, matter. You I, still I, played the I Patriots twice. Not, you still played the Patriots twice. You, you, it's not like I said you played the Patriots three times. No, you played the Patriots twice. You swept the New England Patriots for the first time in twenty years. That's a major accomplishment for this franchise. Major. Like by the way, okay. uh, by the way, at, at halftime it was seventeen to three. And seventeen to three. Was, and you had one possession in one possession in the third quarter, and that I could I could tell. You, and, and by and the way, ran, and by the way, Tennessee did not score a point in the third quarter. They scored points yes. in the fourth quarter. So on, no, on the same you, drive, no, that, no, no, on no, the no, same no. drive that they started in the third quarter, and you know what happened in their one possession in the fourth quarter? They they were working in the hurry up offense. They ran the ball three times. My Miles Gaston got the ball. It was a hurry up package, and they got themselves in the scoring territory, field goal position. A sack pushed it back to a fifty three yard field goal and 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 jason sanders missed the kick the next it's time they not, touched it's, the, not, it's not what you said dude oh no no, no. They, it, it, i told you that they should have kept running with duke and you they said had one was, possession the the game duke, is not, duke is not part time. duke is not part of their hurry up package duke is not part of their hurry up package you know this is a package based team if duke is not part of the hurry up package how and the hurry up package was working which you're is ba what you're basically justifying stupid football Okay, That's what you're doing. if the hurry up package you're, 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 you're was working, smart. which it was, which it was, and it was moving the ball, which it was, and a sack was the only thing that, that drove it out of scoring territory, which it was, like, and that was their one possession, uno, uno oh, oh, possession. Oh, they scored three points, nothing's working, my brother. Nothing's okay. Uh, uh, like you, you, you go through that. You go through that playbook, and you tell me which play should Duke Johnson have been on the field when you have a hurry up package that you're running with that, no no my, substitutions, no substitutions. You're there's, not you're not subbing because no you don't want the Tennessee Titans to sub. Tell me exactly when to put Duke what Johnson. What they do today? What they do today? It's a different team, a different mentality, package. different condition. Were they leading? Were they leading the game? They play differently when they lead. You know that. Yeah, than than know when that. they're trailing. I know like, that. It, I know it, that they it, play it, differently. But but how can you okay. say that? But, it's but, but uh, having a very simplistic approach. Oh, they should have gave the ball to Duke Johnson. Yeah, Duke was Duke had it greased up. It was a slick track. But by the time they got, they had one possession in the third quarter that got spoiled by a sack and a missed field goal. And then by the time they touched the ball again, it was like eight minutes left in the fourth quarter because Tennessee had a drive at the end of the third that gobbled up most of the third and then a big portion of the fourth. They got the ball back. Drove again the length of the field, got to the goal line, and then didn't get a pass interference called out Devontae Parker. Like, trust me, I have combed through the, the, that situation, and there was not a situation where you could say, oh, they should have kept running the ball, should have kept running the ball. What they were doing you was should, working. You should, have, you should have used them a little bit more so you can make some of the downs more manageable for two of my brother. I mean okay. that 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 that's all I'm asking is that you would have you would have maybe yeah. had a more efficient offense if you include the running game in there a little bit more like you have 
today and two weeks it, ago. It, 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 it's totally two different situations. Playing with the lead, different Dolphins, and trailing different Dolphins. Two totally different teams. Like, I, I really don't understand how you don't get that. Yeah, you know this is a package-based team where guys play specific packages. Duke is not part of the hurry-up offense package right now. He's not. That's that's now Miles Gaskins' role because Miles Gaskins lost the lead back role. He's the number three back, and he just does hurry up package now. Just does the 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 the, the, the three receiver wide run. I mean, pass catching back package. What changes do you think will happen? I don't know. Maybe they'll fire people on the offensive staff. I have no idea. We'll we we'll see as the off season goes quarterback change. I think they'll change everything about the offense. I really do. I so think, you think, think they'll trade the, you think they'll trade the quarterback and they'll change the offensive staff. We'll see. Tua said to us on my question, I didn't even ask him anything about the offseason. He was just like, we'll see what happens. And I totally agree with him. We'll see what happens. If they if they start shopping around, I'm sure Tua and his people are gonna start shopping around too. If if not, they should be shopping around now. Like, I'm sorry, Tua can force his way out of here. It is what it is. Quarterbacks yeah, have that kind of control. Some, some tells me Lee Steinberg will have some choice words uh, if he hasn't already in the next uh, week or so with the I mean, Miami Dolphins. It, it Tua threw for 94 yards today. Not, uh, no, 109 yards. Right. It's And, and I like Tua. I love Tua. I, I think – could he be a confident quarterback with a decent team around him? Absolutely. Does he have a decent team around him? No. But if they feel like he's holding this team back, which you can make the argument maybe he is, all right, do what you need to do. Because ultimately in 2022, I'm going to ask for everybody's head if, if they don't make it to the playoffs and win a game. You need to do what you need to do to protect your head. That's yeah. I, 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 I agree with that. The only the only thing is I've seen this story before. If you don't so, fire Flo and you bring him back, Flo and, and, and then Greer, and then and then, and then, then the next fire. guy and then the next guy you hire, you just start his clock for three or four years. Who cares? It's the same. same. Right. It's, it's the same thing without the elite quarterback. It's the same thing. It'll be it'll be the same thing. I'm shocked at how many teams are firing coaches after two or three years. Maybe even one with David Culley. Like who cares? If you don't if you don't have an elite quarterback, every every fan is just a stupid idiot because they just think their team has a chance. You're a moron if you think your team has a chance without an elite quarterback. Well, <laughs> unless you have an elite players around your quarterback, because no. you know, uh, I, I, don't even, I don't even agree in with Baltimore that. Baltimore and Tennessee, they don't have elite quarterbacks, but they uh, know how to build around mm. them, so they put themselves in position to win some Lamar games. Jackson won the MVP award. I don't give a shit about that, dude. I've watched him pass. He'll never be an elite passer in his life. He wins He's it on his leg. He doesn't win it on his arm. I, that, that doesn't He's matter to me. He's an elite player. He's an elite Just like, player. He's an elite He's an elite athlete. Yes, he is. There's he's no an elite doubt player. Uh, but he's but one Tannehill of the top is not an elite player. Yeah, top mm -hmm. 20 players, not not passers, not quarterbacks. Okay. He's a top he's 20 an, player. He and, he and Tannehill <laughs> are still athletes playing quarterback, period, in my All eyes. Right. They're not, but, but their teams understand them, so they build around them the proper way, and that's why mm -hmm. they have success. They don't win a championship, but at least. They can put themselves in that position. Here, they yeah. don't understand their quarterback, so they don't build around him the right way. That's the difference. No, they, they understand their quarterback. They just don't have any talent, and they don't they don't have any any line to do any work. Like lines trash, running games trash, receiving core trash. Like wide receiver. I mean, wide receiver pretending to be a tight end. Like. This team, this offense sucks. Like you, I don't. It's a miracle you have nine wins. That it is. I will say that considering everything, it, it does seem kind of a miracle that they do have nine wins. But they got a they got a nice little run against some uh, some of the lesser teams. All right, what are you working on in the Sun Sentinel so folks can check you out? Uh basically, why Flo is going to be back in 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 the road ahead for him, which is to basically build an offense, which is not his specialty. Not his expertise. I'm with you there. All right, follow him on Twitter at Omar Kelly and catch his work there at the South Florida Sun Sentinel. Better yet, subscribe like I do 
and support our local journalist. Oh, love you, brother. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. All right. Talk to you later. There you go. Omar Kelly. This is the Big O Show. This is the